Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to register an outdoor project that used sphere targets, but the sphere targets were larger than our normal scan projects. So we're going to go ahead uh, through the process of changing the sphere target diameter uh, in the uh, scene software here. So <clears throat> here's our opening page. We're going to go into pre-processing. We're going to choose our top file since all of the scans are in one cluster. We'll start our pre-processing. We're not going to colorize yet. As we get down where find targets, our options are here. We're going to select the spheres. And because we've got a 200 millimeter sphere, we're going to change away from the normal uh, sphere size here for a 150 millimeter sphere and change that for our 200. We're going to choose perform automatic registration and our registration method because we've got the sphere targets, we're going to change that to target based and then go back up and start pre-processing now we've got our processing results they look to have come back okay uh, we've got green lights we can double click on our scan manager see our results here's our target error on each location we have a four millimeter mean that looks like it's going to be pretty good so let's go ahead and take a look at the project here uh, we can just jump into our explore button and we're going to have to load the scans to see them so we right click on the main scans folder and go to load all scans And here are the results of our scan registration. You can see everything seems to have lined up well. We can go into each individual scan by double clicking on the tree at the left side here on each of the scans. And now you've got a clearer indication of what it is that we're looking at. And now that we've got good registration, we can do a 2D or 3D uh, measurements. We can double click and then grab a polygon, rectangle, in this case, uh, selector, right click on it, 3D view, we can also go into our general 3D, what we were looking at previously, and we can do any sort of measurements we want from here. There we go. We've got a registered project. We have changed our sphere diameter and we have now got a greenlit project that we can do 3D measurements off of. Good luck. I hope this helps on a project that's coming up for you guys.